day 934 um it is 7 49 p.m just got off my warriors of god call um it was amazing man it uh it was so good i just felt these last few days so <sighs> defeated like i am failing on every level i'm not going to the gym i'm not going to bed early i wake up and i do my morning calls and then i go back to sleep until like 11 and I just feel like I'm failing. I feel like I'm dropping the ball on everything. I am dropping the ball on most things. I'm just like, it's just like, how could I go from doing so good to doing so bad? And uh, right when I got on the call and I started talking, I was like, um, it's crazy because we can be standing in victory, but feel like we're in defeat. And God just gave me that message right away. And I was like, wow, we can be standing in victory, but feel like we're in defeat. Um, and that's exactly how I feel. I'm standing in so much victory. There's victory everywhere I turn. There's opportunity everywhere I turn. There's transformation everywhere I turn. There's there's so much victory around me. Um, but I feel like I'm just standing in defeat. And as I started talking, like it was just revealed that it's the perfectionism. Like I am really uh, struggling with perfectionism. You know, I have all these things that I'm getting ready to put out to the world and I'm holding them back because I want them to be perfect and realizing that like God doesn't work with perfect people. He works with imperfect people and he perfects those people over time because he is the great perfecter. Jesus is the only perfect being that exists. And, and so that's, that's walk this earth. And so us pursuing perfection is just a distraction and, and God wants us to expand. As warriors of God, we are called to expansion. And perfection is the enemy of expansion. Because how are you supposed to expand your territory? How are you supposed to change people's lives when you won't put your stuff out there because you want it to be perfect? And so we were talking about that. And it was just like so powerful. And understanding like God works with imperfect people. Look at his disciples. So imperfect. Fishermen, tax collectors, prostitutes. Like you know, you look at people in the Bible, you know, Moses, you know, imperfect, David, imperfect, Gideon, imperfect, right? God loves working with imperfect people because he will take your imperfection and and he will transform you. And, and then people will look and say, how could that person go from here to here? They were such a screw up. They, they sucked at this. They did that. They did that. And look at where they are. Well, that's what demonstrates God's glory. Your imperfection is the opportunity for God to demonstrate his glory, for him to demonstrate his perfection. Because look at where he can take you. Look at where God can take you. You know, God can't do much with a perfect person. Because let's say you're, you're a perfect person and, and God changed your life. You know, people are just going to look to you. Well, you were perfect anyway. Or you have massive business success because... You have this perfect business. You have the perfect logo. You have the perfect messaging. You have the perfect website. You have the perfect product. You have the perfect customer service. Well, when you're wildly successful, no one's going to believe it was God. You had the perfect product. You had the perfect business. You had the perfect everything. It's it's the imperfect things that God transforms where we're able to give God the glory, where God can really accept the glory that he's the one who did that. He loves imperfect things. He takes the clay and he molds it into something great. And I'm trying to mold the clay myself and I can't, I keep failing. Like, and it's like, man, and I've been like today, just so defeated. And it's like, God is forcing me to move forward. Like the manager of the church called me today and he's like, Hey, let's walk through this, this, this next step session and, and getting clear on your gifts. And I'm like, I'm not ready for this, but I did it anyway. And it's like, God, I need to take a break from all this. I need to pause all of this. Like, and it's just like, Ah, oh, just such deception. The enemy is just so deceptive. And perfection is deception. It's something we can never attain. It's something we can never reach. Like God is is the only perfect. And and so the enemy wants us pursuing perfection. Because we'll never attain it and we'll never put our things out there. Imagine how many books have never been published, how many movies, how many speeches haven't been given, how many businesses haven't been started because of perfectionism. Oh, it's not good enough yet. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. You know, I look at this, this workbook that I'm making and, you know, I look at it and it's like, this is really cool. It's really good, but it's not perfect. You know what God can do with this? Like, oh my God, all I got to do is put it out there. So 
Um, but what was so amazing on the call is I was real and I was vulnerable. I'm sitting in my car for my call. Usually when I do the calls uh, at the evening calls, I have my lights on. I got my Warriors of God logos in the background. I got the the blue and, and red light on and, and all of that. And I was just like, that's so inauthentic because I feel like crap. I feel like a failure. I feel defeated. For 20 minutes before the call, I was praying and I was like, God, I can't lead these people. I'm not fit to lead them. Like, I am failing. I am defeated. Like, and it's it's just so crazy the things that he lined up and, you know, they were all so encouraged and, and they spoke life over me and they even prayed for me. Um, and it was just like, wow. And it really showed me like, I'm not alone. Um and that there are good people with good hearts that are supporting me and they're fighting for me and they, they love the vulnerability. And, you know, one of the ladies in there, she's like, you know, I hate to see this, but I get so pumped up by your suffering. <laughs> and she's like, I know that sounds horrible, but like to see what you're going through, like gets me excited because I'm going through similar things and it makes me realize I'm okay. Like, it's okay. I'm not alone. Um, and so I just feel so grateful that I can have a group where, um, leading them is exposing my imperfection. I could talk to them about how I almost didn't pay rent. I could talk to them how I'm struggling with lust. I can talk to them how I've st I'm struggling with this or I'm getting my butt kicked by that or I'm scared of this or I'm insecure about this. And it doesn't make me any less of a leader. Um, and, and that vulnerability is so powerful. You know, and I was thinking today, like, God, I'm so grateful that I'm not like a Tony Robbins or something like that because those guys, they got to be perfect. When they slip up, they're going to get canceled. Like people are going to be angry if they slip up and it's so much weight to hold. That perfection is so much weight to carry. And I'm just so grateful that I don't have to carry that weight, that I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to pretend I'm perfect. I can be perfectly imperfect um, and, and it's beautiful. And so this is it. Just give it to him. Just give it to him again and again and again and again because he is the perfecter. And so all we have to do is is give it to him. So, man, that just shifted my whole emotional state. I've been I've been messed up these last few days. Like, God, I'm I'm defeated. I can't do it anymore. And it's crazy because it's right on the cusp of like my greatness. It's right on the cusp of the greatest opportunities I've ever had. And I'm just like, the self-sabotage is coming in. And the perfectionism, the perfectionism is the big one. And, and God revealed that. So, yeah, that was a game changer. So thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, warriors of God. Um, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. Wow. Awesome.